So yesterday I got my Phoenix 7X Solar Sapphire and I am gonna do a full review on it uh, after I use it for a few weeks and form some solid opinions. But I know a lot of you are curious about the multi-band slash multi-frequency capabilities. Is it that much better than the Phoenix 6? or a GPS map or a smartphone or whatever it might be. So in this quick video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a hike here on the coast. It's gonna be flat and pretty wide open in the beginning, but then we're gonna go through the slot canyon and he's canyon here and it's a really narrow canyon so uh we're gonna put the multi-frequency to the tester there and i'm gonna record that on the uh 7x solar sapphire on the phoenix 6 uh 6x pro solar a gps map 66i and a um an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now for the uh, placement of these, I have one Phoenix on each wrist and I have the two, the iPhone and the GPS map separated by uh, like a rolled up t-shirt. So they're about six inches apart or so. So there's no interference between units. And if you wanna know what the exact specs are in terms of recording and you know GPS constellations, I'll put that under the video on YouTube. You can check that out if you're interested. The important one of course is on the Phoenix 7X solar sapphire that's a tongue twister i have um multi gnss and multi uh bands enabled so we'll see how it does when we go through the canyon hopefully uh it will live up to the hype but who knows we'll see if you like the video if you could do me a favor just click a little thumbs up it helps me out a ton and if you want to see my upcoming review on the phoenix 7x just subscribe and uh anyway let me hit the trail and then we'll go back to the computer and see what it all looks like all right so here we are on Cal Topo, you can see I have the key up here, and uh, the 7X is the purple line, the 6 is the red. Right away, the, the 6X is not looking good here. Um, you know, this is the trail. Let's go over to a portion where we can see the actual trail on the satellite photo. Here you can see the 6X is, is really doing bad. I mean, this is not typical. Usually when I do a guide and I look at the trail, in a similar view to this, um, this is not off as bad as that, considering I did the silk on the GPS and I have the EPO files. But anyway, you could see the 7X is spot on, as is the uh, GPS map 66i. The reason why you see these variations is for is because it's doing smart recording, so it's using um, your movements and your position to decide when to take a track point. We're not doing it every second. Uh, I could do that on another one. But anyway, here we are. Here you can see the 6X has come back uh, in line with the 7X, and now the iPhone and the 66 have drifted off a little bit. But let's go up to the meaty part. And I'll put a link to this underneath the video. If you want to check this out, you can browse this. But let's go over to the canyon. Here we are entering the canyon. It looks like the 7X is pretty spot on here. You can see it going through. And then when we get to the really narrow part, I mean, this is fairly narrow. So I think aside from the uh, iPhone here, I think all of these guys are doing respectably in this narrow canyon. But here... Once it gets really narrow, you can see that these guys sort of freak out. Uh, and you can see even the 7X is off a little bit. This is the canyon right here. You can see where my mouse is. This is where the, the actual slot is from the satellite photo. So you can see we struggled here on the 7X. Look at the iPhone, semi-respectable in here. Um, the 66i and the... Phoenix 6X, both of which are GPS and Galileo, are, are way off. They're, they're, you know, they're basically having a hard time in here, whereas the 7X is definitely uh, living up to its multi-band um, you know, billing here as, as working in canyons. And here the iPhone sort of loses it where we come around and then we come up here and uh, the other ones are kind of struggling to Resync, you can see the 6x is kind of taking some points around there, but um, this is out in the clear at the end of the trail. So, first look, it looks like the 7x definitely performs better. Now, this is not a typical use case for most uh, people going through these really narrow slot canyons. So, let's just go back here and look at just a trail sort of in the open and see where we are. And here you can see 
the the seven is is doing really good. It's pretty much on the trail according to the satellite photo, um, whereas the six X has drifted off. The sixty six I is doing well. The iPhone is doing well. It looks like the seven X definitely is giving you an advantage. Um, but again, you have to use the multi GNSS and multi band, and that's what I have for this test, uh, which still has a respectable battery life. But again. I will do a full review on this in a couple weeks. Let me use it for a while, make sure that it's solid. And uh, I'm also gonna review the Epic, so I'm trying that out too. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But anyway, I'm gonna put links to this and I'll put again all the specs for the settings that I used underneath the video if you wanna check it out. All right guys, catch you later.